Okay, time for an update on the Bel Air Shortwave Portable Radio. I've got around to replacing the ferrite rod clamps at either end, and I've gone ahead and just used plastic off of a um, ice cream tub. No shortage of ice cream tubs in the world. Actually, it's not a bad plastic. Um, but anyway, also I'm going to need to spray some contact cleaner on the contact surfaces and uh, just give it a general clean up but I went ahead and got the correct cells so I'm halfway there and we should be firing it up very very shortly uh, and I can see from this point here that there's a, a wire that's extremely exposed I might need to cut that and re-solder that too. Looks like it might have been stretched. Okay. So I've worked out what the pickup terminal is for. It's not an antenna input and it's not an additional audio output. It's actually an auxiliary audio input. So you can use the device as a portable amplified speaker if you needed to do that. So that's kind of cool, kind of handy feature. Give it a bit of a clean with meth lighted spirits, or what you probably would call denatured alcohol. Some of that battery acid crud out of the inside there. Unfortunately, while cleaning the controls with contact cleaner. And actuating them, I um, had a bit of a setback. The control for the band switching, which is this multi layered wafer switch here, the, um, the split end for the knurled part that holds the switch on actually broke off, and I don't think there's going to be much chance of, of that getting put back on that control. So I will need to replace that as well. The battery mess wasn't as bad as I initially thought and it cleaned up quite nicely. So we'll stick some batteries in it now and give it a give it a bit of a test run. Okay, so we put the four C size batteries in there. Contact surface uh, contact contacts in the controls are cleaned. and created and performed by local people. So it's a really important part of Dharma Festival to let people know that this is what we can put on here. Japan is a technologically advanced country, and I think the railway sector is especially amazing. I'd like to actually see a real Shinkansen bullet train and maglev train. I'd like to talk to a lot of people in Japan in Japanese. 